Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this let's play of Splinter Cell. Yes, starting time to start a new game. And I know normally I leave the intro to run at the beginning of the whole thing, at the beginning of the let's play, and I normally would, except for one small issue. Because this game is so old, there's a bit of a difference in the formatting, and the intro video actually is only in the corner of the screen at a ridiculously small size. That would look absolutely horrible <laughs> in, uh, in the video, and I can't really fix that quickly and easily on stream, so we're just going to be skipping that, I'm afraid, and instead, we'll just get right to it. And I will say ahead of time, Splinter Cell is a game that I played long, long ago, back on the original Xbox. Probably around when it came out, so yeah, I have played this before, it's just been a very long time. Also, I tend to play with mouse and keyboard, so... The stealth is probably gonna be a bit trickier than normal. Wish me the best of luck. <laughs> anyway, let's begin, shall we? Uh, may as well go with a new profile. Gonna be normal difficulty. And create. Oh god, I apologize for the video probably being in the corner. Cancelled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry Baron Kambain Nikolaj seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Uh -huh. Bringing high-speed fiber optic... 2004, yeah. ...areas of Eastern Sold. Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands, and especially Georgia, where President... The Vice President called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian President Kumbain Nikolaj's a man with his eyes on the future. Okay. Here's the end of that. CIA training farm. Camp Peary, Virginia, August 7, 2004, 0601 hours. Prove that you are the right man for the job. As Agent Sam Fisher, you have been recruited to spearhead the operational arm of the National Security Agency's third echelon initiative. Before being sent into the field, you must demonstrate that you possess the skills to undertake dangerous and covert solo missions. Right, tutorial time! Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. Hmm. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine. And we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSAT. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. Be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, Sam. One second. Let me just... Okay, no option for, uh... What's it called? Subtitles. Unfortunate. Let's get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Yep. Good. 
That means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Think so? Great. Now the one on your right. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Think so? Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. Right there. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge over that pool. Also, I admit the uh, sensitivity is a little high. Is there any way to turn that down? There. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Okay. Press jump at the base of a ledge to grab onto it. If only I knew how to run. Okay, I guess I just go over to here. There we go. Shimmy over. And there we go. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. All right, then. Your default speed is walking. Use the accelerate key, mouse wheel up, to increase Sam's speed. Decelerate, mouse wheel down, to decrease. Okay, that's a little... Okay. That's interesting. To use a ladder, simply move onto it or jump onto it to make Sam start climbing. Okay, so I adjust speed with the mouse wheel. That's going to be a little odd and take some getting used to. Okay, stand under it and, put, and jump, which is shift. A little unusual, but okay. Climbing on a vertical pipe or beam is like using a ladder. Ah, okay, I didn't see that. Crouch, press C. When between narrow walls, it may be possible for Sam to do a split jump. Stand next to a wall and press jump. When at the top, press jump a second time and hold. Okay, just like that. Okay, good. I'd make a comment about how you probably don't have any balls in order to do that, but this is Sam Fisher. He's got balls of fucking steel. Maybe even a full quad. <laughs> oh, interact. To repeat pop-up training tips, interact with one of these objects. Okay. And space is interact. To hand over hand under a piper beam, press jump to grab it. Okay. Shift being jumped does feel a little unusual to me. Okay. Nice that that vanishes for that. To decrease visibility and pass over obstacles while on a pipe, press crouch to bring his legs up. Fair enough. It does slow him down a bit, but that's to be expected. And through there. Climbing a fence or lattice is the same as climbing a ladder or pipe. Okay, simple enough. Okay, moving on. To put Sam's back to a wall, face the wall and press Q. When Sam reaches a corner, he'll peek. He can also shoot while peeking. Press Q a second time to exit. All right. go. And there's him peeking around the corner. Boopy boopy boop. There we go. Back up the pipe. And what are we going to have up here? Just a basic ladder? Yes. Simple enough. 
Good job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. Sam needs to reach a very high ledge. It may be possible for him to jump off a nearby surface. Try standing close to one of the side walls. Press jump, and while in the air, press the jump again. Okay, that's like when I jump up and uh, do the splits. Okay, fair enough. And open the door. Door is locked. Hmm. Oh, this is where I was supposed to go. Okay, fair enough. Loading screen! And we're through. Good thing the loading screen is so short. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. You've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. Victims, right. The icons above the stealth meter on the right indicate that you have new information in your ops at. The objective bar at the bottom of your HUD keeps you informed of your current objective. Press escape to open your ops sat and check new information or get more detailed information on objectives. Okay, that's uh, kind of behind my head at the moment. I apologize for that. Open the door to the next training area. That's all we got. Okay. To open a door, stand in front of it and press interaction. You can also peek through doors by selecting door peek when pressing the interaction key. Well, it doesn't seem to be an option here. The next door is locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lock picks to get through it. To equip your lock picks, press and hold the quick inventory key, control, and use your mouse to navigate in the menu. Select the lock picks from the gadgets section. To release a pin, you must press the correct movement key. One, w -A -S -D. Once you hear and see the pin begin to move, press the same key repeatedly until it is released. Repeat operation until all the pins are released. Okay. So first I need the lockpick. There we go. Okay, simple enough. Just tap the right direction. next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Approach your opponent quietly from behind and press the interaction key to grab him. If the character has any useful information, the interrogate interaction will appear. Select this interaction to force the character to talk. After you get the information you need, press fire to knock out and release your opponent. Sure. Obviously, I want to sneak up behind the guy. And grab him. All right. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Uh, not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. Hmm. What's the door code? Two eight four six nine. It was a pleasure working with you. Likewise. Hmm. Two eight four six nine. Two eight four six nine. One more time. Two eight four. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Two, eight, four, six, nine. Nice. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, Odd. it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner. Usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. To force an opponent to cooperate, sneak up from behind and grab him as before. While still holding the opponent, drag him to the object that you want them to use and press the interaction key to force them to use it. Alright. I heard you. Sam, that's not the purpose of this part of the training. Let's try again. Right. I was just checking the sneaking for a moment there. Okay. So it's interesting. Something something that I actually like here. Normally playing with a controller, you will in order you know how it is. 
you move the thumbstick more in order to move faster or slower. But here, since I can't do that with the keyboard, they came up with a way to fix that, and that is actually the scroll wheel. There's actually a few levels of speed to it. I like that. Eh, it looks like I can't speak with you, so... Retinal scanner. Known Colonel, grant access. Alright, and now if you don't mind. I didn't really have to, but eh. Open the door. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. You've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. I see it. Meters at four. You lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Stealth meter in the bottom right-hand corner indicates how well lit you are. When the tab is at the right side of the meter, you are well lit. When it's at the left side, you're practically invisible. You'll need to shoot the lights to get past this camera. Select the pistol from your quick inventory, press the, press the equip key, and fire. Okay, can do. Shoot the lights to pass the camera. Okay, Quip brings it out, there goes one, there goes two, Security up, an intruder in the agency. I should have shot out that I light too. On monitor, okay, note again. to self, shoot out all cameras, uh, shoot out all lights. Okay, so, oop. Oh. And that's why you wait for steady. And one more. To equip your night vision goggles, simply press 2. And there's the Bui. Nice and dark. And now I can see. Some cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. All right, so this one's going to be shooting the camera. I can see it's uh, less reinforced, shall we say. Some cameras are not protected with armored casings. Shooting these cameras will destroy them, allowing you to pass. To make yourself harder to see, you can go back to the wall. Press equip to equip your sidearm when peeking, and you can shoot around the corner without exposing yourself. Like... So. Okay. Sometimes the only way to pass a camel will be to stick to existing shadows and time your movements. Like that one. Can't shoot out the lights. Can't shoot out the camera. Time your movements and keep to the shadows to avoid being seen by the camera. Agency oh, damn it. Bad timing. I saw you on the monitor, Sam. Let's try that again. Alright, this will be a little trickier then. Because of the lights from there. There we go. This is where I needed to get to while it was looking in that direction. Okay, took me a minute. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. To knock out an enemy with a hand-to-hand -hand attack, close to them and press fire. Stand over the fallen enemy and select the pick-up body. Carry the opponent to somewhere dark and out of the way, and press the interaction key again to drop them. And I think I see the dark area they intend me to put him. I could have grabbed him, but eh, I was told not to. I wonder if there was an interaction if I did. 
Unfortunately, it seems I only have one okay, Steve. Now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. And I'll just stay back here. And there's the other guard. Walks in and looks around. And he saw nothing. Perfect. Work, Sam. Remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Is that it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that was just <laughs> randomly knocking him out. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, moving on to the next door. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. To move quietly, try to keep to softer or more solid textures like carpet or concrete, and avoid hollow or loose surfaces like wood or gravel. Also remember that the slower you move, the quieter you are. To crouch, press C. You'll be much quieter while crouched and moving slowly. You'll also perform a, a quiet landing if you drop from a height while crouched. Gotcha. Gotcha. Jump up there. Very carefully. Avoid the chains. Carefully across the broken glass. Have you started yet? Fisher, <laughs> holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. Holy Christmas. Sure. Okay. What do you got next for me? Oh, is that it? That's got to be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure? Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. And mission accomplished. Tutorial complete. Guessing now we're going to see more cutscene and everything. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, Fisher. You have demonstrated that you are the right man to spearhead the NSA's third echelon initiative. The onus will be on you to prove the worth of deploying solo covert operatives by gathering intelligence in the field and taking deliberate action based on that intelligence. Welcome to the NSA. And cutscene. in your head, man. I just need to sync the encryption signature between his subdermals and Fort Meade. Don't Sorry, it's so like quiet. That. I know. It's for after we land. You better hurry up, Grim. We touch down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Hmm. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. 
The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Combey Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. <laughs> you're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA mines we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. All right. Tbilisi Old Town in Tbilisi, Georgia, October 16th, 2004, 2001 hours. Locate CIA agents Blaustein and Madison. Agent Allison Madison worked covertly in the Georgian political arena for two years, securing a role in President Nicolaz's cabinet after his coup d'etat. She vanished on October 3rd. On October 7th, Special Agent Robert Blaustein was sent in to find her. He vanished on October 11th. Okay, then. Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. You're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. All right, let's take a quick look. Rendezvous with the local NSA informant Thomas Gurgenides for information on Blaustein's area of operation. Killing civilians will result in mission failure. Touching the street will result in mission failure. All right, no notes, but data. Let's see. We've got three things here. Number one is the Tbilisi map. I wish I could see more details. No information on what each of them are. These are all case files. Oh, there we go. I have to double click. Okay. Let's see. Case. Okay, so, you know what? We'll start this in the next episode. This one's gone on almost long enough. I think this is a fine point to stop. Next episode, we will begin the first mission proper and see what we can do here. Till then, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Sam Fisher. This has been a Let's Play of Splinter Cell, and I shall see you all next time.